The conditions on the body of water today are not unlike Snoop Dogg traveling through the Midwest in the wintertime. Cold and high. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. And Nathan and I are out chasing muskies. Um, it's the Northern Wisconsin Muskie Opener, folks. So we are in his, if you can see it here, Nathan's new rig, uh, perfect for these little bodies of water that we're trying to attack muskies on. And we're gonna be throwing some swim baits some diving rises, maybe throw some top waters, we'll see. As I said, the water's a little cool. The muskies should be post-spawn-ish, but still coming up into these bodies of water to do their thing, hang out, and hopefully eat food and some baits. The water itself is, what are we looking at? 56, 57. As I said, it's a little bit high, so those are the conditions we're dealing with. So we are just gonna do a nice little float, take our time, Use the trolling motor a little bit. That's something we haven't had on some of these trips before. So that's the plan. That's what we're doing. So we're gonna try to catch muskie. All right, folks, I'm gonna start off throwing a Lee Lures pelagic swim that I've slightly modified to put a little dropper hook on there. See if we can't get some of these swiper muskies hooked that way. I'm throwing it on a assault stick, 2020 surgical strike, lovely little telescopic rod. Nice and light on a Trinx 400 by Shimano, of course, with a nice stealth tackle leader. These are lovely little leaders. Nathan, what's Nathan throwing? Nathan's scaling got a little, down a little bit. scaling down. It's a hothead, so it's a giant beetle spin, basically. <laughs> and he's throwing the same exact rig I am, except a 401 because he's wrong handed. So let's see if we can't catch ourselves a muskie on one of these things. Fish. Really? Yep. Okay. Yep. Are you anchor it or are you good? No, I think we're good. Here we go. Not sure what we're dealing with yet. It's a nice fish, man. Dude. Yes. Yes, man. Yeah, go ahead and Wow. Dude, that was so cool. Like redemption over I, last year already. I was I, I just we were moving out into the middle and I cast across the river and I was just reeling it and it just went slack. And I set back and I'm like, that's a fish! Holy cow. Wow dude. Beautiful little fish. All right, girl, let's, let's get a look at you. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to let you go. We're going to let you go. Okay. Look at that fish. What a beautiful fish to start out the northern Wisconsin opener for Nathan and I. I mean, we're only a couple minutes into our day. Got a little bit of a late start, but that's because we're old and lazy. So, um, <laughs> I'm just, I, I, can't, I can't tell you how happy I am. I got it on that Lee Lures pelagic swim that we had so many fish hit last year and just couldn't get them to stick. So, ooh, she's gonna pop here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you're good, you're good, you're good. There she goes. Dude. Uh, I'm speechless. The body of water we're on has been so kind to us as far as seeing fish, but so mean as far as catching them. So to put one in the boat means a ton and we just need to keep going.
Ladies and gentlemen, I have a midday update for you. Nathan just saw a muskie. I think it might have been a smallie. Nathan something. just saw a smallie. <laughs> <laughs> it was something brown behind the lure, and it's been a while. <laughs> it has. The, that was going to be the update. We caught one right off the bat. We saw two others. Nathan saw two others. Which bait did you see those on? Uh, one was on the Navin. It okay. rolled right over the top of the Navin. Oh, that's right. One rolled over a Navin, and the other was on the Hothead? Hothead. Yeah. On the Hothead. hothead. I have not since seen anything since I caught my fish on that Lee Lures Pelagic, but I know it works out here, so I'm going to stick with it. We're still rocking, what, 57 degree water temps. We've got a little bit of cloud cover. We've got a midday minor coming up, and the sun is going away, and storms are coming in, so it's very musky-ish, but I guess it remains to be seen if the muskies think the same way as we do. So hopefully soon here, We'll have a muskie or a fish or a pike or something that we can show you. Well, I suppose we should probably start banging this over here. Fish? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, just in case. It's pike. Whale. That was sort of exciting for a little bit. He was in the right spot there. First time I've seen one of these. One of these today. I thought the other Nate was the ungraceful one. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just all sorts of clumps. All right, Nathan with his almost a muskie. <laughs> He's no giant, but it's something to pull on the end of my line. It's a pretty fish, man. Yeah. Be a good eater if we were keeping him. Yeah, it would. Throw him back. There we go. Healthy. Well, we both caught one now. Yeah, no skunkage. Unfortunately, you got the good kind. I did. Um, and we just saw a muskie a little bit upriver, so that's why we were both pretty excited. <laughs> Thought that one might have been a muskie as well, but a pike. So, I don't know. These little adventures, we just like catching fish. Obviously, we would love to catch muskies, but the occasional pike, especially if it's a decent sized one, is always welcome in the boat as well so especially with high and fast water high and fast water just adds to the excitement <laughs> it does yeah they fight a lot harder when the water's helping them out so yeah. we definitely have those types of conditions so um we've got a lot of river left to go so we are by no means done maybe we'll start running into some nice pike too who knows we'll we're just gonna keep casting and hopefully catching fish I, oh, there's a fish, but uh, it wasn't that big, dude. I think it was pike. <laughs> well, Nathan just said, hey, should we work the stretch? And then a fish hit, so maybe they're listening to us. I don't know. But mostly they're just being jerks. Yeah. Musky. Musky, okay. Can you work him around the side, Nate? It's all right. Okay. Yep, yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. Come up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a 
cool eight. <laughs> That's cool, man. You just ate right down here. Right, right boat side. Okay. This came up right from the depths. Cool. Hey, man. Musky number two. Not a giant, but uh, it is a musky. That was a really gents. cool eat. It was, it, was a, yeah. it was a straight from up below. Sure. Like I didn't figure eight it or anything. Just, it was just, I just did a little cut and he just whack. Awesome. That's a cool little fish. Yeah. I'll take a look at him here. All right, folks. Well, uh, we managed to put another musk in the boat. It's not big. It's like a mid thirties, but it looks like a little male. There's some actually really cool bite marks on him. So we'll, we're gonna get him out of the net, take care of him really quick here, and then get him back in the water. He's feisty. He is feisty. Little head, big body. Yeah. But the. Oh, you don't see the chompers on this side. So you can turn them around. Oh, yeah. Look at that one right there, right by Nathan's hand. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Somebody got him. What a pretty fish though, man. Little head, big body. Yeah, it's gonna, fat. It's gonna grow up to be a healthy one. Two it's fish done, day, dude. two fish day. Two fish. Can't complain about that anytime. Although it's been like seven, eight hours between. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of not seeing things, but that's just typical musky fishing for those of you that have never done it. For those of you that have, you can feel our pain a little bit. Um, but yeah, any day you can put two muskies in the boat is a great day. We're hoping for something a little bit bigger. The round nose, these things are, it's a thing people. I can't, it's so hard to point at things. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Right there. Uh, the Kodiak round nose. That's what we got that fish on. I had some really good luck with that bait in Iowa as well. So, um, what time we got? Like five? Four, four five. or five? Yeah. We've still got some time. We can still put a musk in the boat. We've still got some good water ahead of us. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep fishing. Do fish day though. Yes. Well folks, a two fish day musky fishing is nothing to sneeze at as they say, so we're going to take this one as a win even though we didn't really hammer them like we were hoping for. You always go out with, with high hopes and sometimes it happens and most of the time it doesn't. So two, two fish in the boat, a pike, Yeah. Had lost one that we don't know if it was a pike, maybe musky. Yeah. Um, uh, saw three others I believe. Saw three other muskies, one of them was a nice one, I mean they were all nice fish. I mean, nothing huge, but they were all decent fish. So we've got, I don't know if we really found a pattern, <laughs> if you could say that, but. Um, in the middle, everything was in the middle. Everything was in the middle, yeah. Yeah, not many of the fish were kind of hanging shallow. Everything was out in the middle of, uh, of the river. So we'll see. We've got warm weather coming in. We've got two more days to fish. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I think we're coming back here on Monday. So uh, that's the plan for right now, but. The immediate plan is to go back, hang out with our other buddies that are up here, eat some food, maybe drink some beers, and get some sleep, dump footage, all that fun stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. I appreciate all of you fine people watching this craziness and silliness that we're up to, and I'll see you on the next video.